Okay, so in this video I'm going to go over the structure of bacterial flagella. Um, I just need to apologize for the lighting in this video because it's kind of, I either have these shadows or a massive spot of light in the shot, so I've chosen the shadows. Now bacterial flagella is within the membrane, or within the outer layers rather, of the bacterial cell. So in some bacteria at least, we have an inner membrane. A heptoglycan layer and an outer membrane. Outer membrane. Now the bacterial flagella is embedded within these. The first structure is the well, the lower structure down is what we call the C ring, and that sits about here. I'm going to draw it like this. So that is the C ring. And a proper rubber. So this is the C ring. Now attached to the C ring is something called the M S ring, which we're going to draw like this. So this is the M S ring. Now that uh, is actually one ring. They call it the M S ring because they used to think it was two. Attached to the M S ring is a rod which extends all the way up, like that. Now we need two more layers, let's just move this down slightly, we need two more rings, sorry, and that's here, something called the P ring, for obvious reasons, so this is the P ring, and here we have something called the L ring, okay, and to finish our diagram we need to put in the filament, the actual thing that causes this rotation, that we actually want to rotate, I'm going to draw like that, it's not necessarily like out there, but I'm kind of reaching the limit of my board. Okay, uh, let's try and move the camera up directly. So we have to put it out there. It, it's not like necessarily pointing that way. Um, it can be pointing like up, etc. I just draw it like that because of the board. And on the end, we have some record H A P two, which stops this depolymerizing. So this is made. This is the uh, filament, and it's made of Flagellin. Okay. <laughs> so, also down here, we have something called the export apparatus. So, this is the export apparatus. You can't see that. Export apparatus. And this membrane continues like that. And around the outside, we have two proteins called MOTA and MOTB. So there's lots of things going on here and the first thing we need to distinguish is what rotates and what doesn't. So this MS ring rotates, this rod rotates, this hook rotates and this flagellin rotates. The C ring also rotates, however, it doesn't rotate necessarily with the same velocity or the same speed as everything else. At least we think. We don't know a lot about this whole thing, so I think at the moment it's like speculation. Now the P and the R ring, they act as brushing in a motor, so they kind of hold everything stable and make sure it goes through, this rod goes through the right place. I haven't actually labeled the rod, so let's do, do that now. So they act as brushing. So let's put that in. Brushing. Like that. Now the M the MOT and MOA proteins over here, they act as they they enable proton transport through the membrane. So they well not through the membrane, but they allow proton transport. Proton transport. If you just heard like a, something that was my laptop telling me my battery is slow. Uh, so we have, I'm going to do this in green, Russian. Now this C ring, the export apparatus and the MS ring 
they're all used to help build the this whole thing pretty much. Now we kind of need a lab setup because this is out of the member and this is out of the cell, this is sticking out of the cell. So we can't really build it. We need to build it from outside in, inside out, if you got what I mean. We can't like start building it from out here. Um so we need to like transport proteins, etc. Searing also has another role and that it changes that it has proteins that can change direction of rotation. I'm aware you can't see that, so let's put it like that. And the rod clearly is something that rotates. The hook, which I haven't labelled, but this is the hook, um that connects what we call the basal body to the filament, so connection. Um, it's probably worth mentioning that we ha we thought MS, the MS ring was more fundamental, like more important than we now think it is. We thought it was like pretty much the driving force of the rotation. Um, it's probably worth mentioning that the these ha must help generate the torque because we're using proton transport to generate the torque, and we do that by something called the cross bridge cycle. Okay, so I'm going to stop that there, and hopefully you now have a better understanding of that tail gel.